on YouTube. This is Felicia with Bible Scraps. You guys, I have a fascinating, fun tutorial to share with you guys. Do not throw out your washi tape. I know many of you hoard and haul washi tape and you might be at your wit's end. What do I do with it? Well, I have a fabulous do-it-yourself tutorial to share. Now you are looking at my washi tape, at least most of it. I do have some rolls stored in other places, but this is Those the gist of, you of who it. you saw my paper tray inks, post and parcels video, you know what I'm talking about. It all began when I tried to duplicate their post and parcels trimmings kit. And in that kit, they had a ribbon that looked like this. The problem was I couldn't find that ribbon. And so I set myself out on a journey to make my own. Take a look at my airmail ribbon here. I love it. <laughs> now in making the ribbon, I realized I could make a whole lot of other things as well, including washi paper. So take a look at my partial mailbox that I have made out of washi So making paper. washi ribbon led to making washi this and making washi that. So in this tutorial, I'm going to share with you all how you can make your washi paper, how you could make washi fabric, of course, how you can make washi ribbon, and how you can make washi Creation. Before I share with you the tutorial, let me first share some washi paper I have made. Now this is washi tape by Anna Griffin. Can you believe I had this washi tape in the garage in a giveaway box? Because I didn't care for the patterns. Well, maybe the Merry Christmas and the Holly. That was it. But let me tell you, before you throw it out, before you de-stash it, before you give it away, please make washi paper first. Check out this beautiful print here. I tell you, as I laid down the strips of washi tape, the beauty of the designs popped out at me. Take a look at this. Gorgeous. So you know that I am definitely keeping my washi tape. Now, what I've done, because this was so fabulous, I didn't want to use it. <laughs> and so I made me copies. So here's my copy here. And I'll be using my copy to make projects with it. Now check out this pattern. Gorgeous, look at that holly, the Merry Christmas. Absolutely love it. This was also using Anna Griffin. And here's my copy. Now, you could see if the camera picks it up, there is a color difference here. So I know this is my original. And by the way, I call my originals my proofs. I know it's original because it's darker but also when I turn it over, I see my folded washi tape there. Now, you could use your original and your projects, but me, this was so pretty. I'm going to keep, once again, my originals and make copies from them and make my projects out of my copies. Now, you can also create digital files if you scan it and save that file. And then you always have it. Now, check out this one. Not sure if you could tell, but I have applied my washi tape to solid cardstock, brown that is. And take a look at my copy. Now I picked up this washi tape from Michaels the other day. It's sweet treats. And later on, I'll be showing you some washi ribbon that I made from this washi paper. Now check out this one. The cross, gotta love the cross, right? Now, take a look at the copy made from that washi paper. Mm -mm, not good at all. Not sure if you can see the color here. It looks like a grayish green brown, very dull, very ugly. So I know I won't be using this copy. And for this particular color scheme, I know that I'll need to use my original, but I'm gonna save my originals 
for this original for something very special. Now, with that being said, depending on the printer you use, the copier machine you use, the ink you use, the paper you use, the washi tape you use, all that will determine if you're going to make copies or make prints from it, that will determine how your final result looks. So just keep that in mind. If you're using washi tape to make washi paper, you could use ribbon to make ribbon slash washi paper. Now I'll be sharing a separate video showing you different ways you can create your very own custom paper as well as I ribbon. share the tutorial. I want to challenge you all. As I've stated earlier, many of you hoard and haul washi tape. Well, I challenge you to show me your washi paper. Show me your washi ribbon. Show me your washi tape. Or show me your washi creations. So all you have to do to participate is to leave a link to your project in the comments section. And what I'll do, I will compile a list of participants. Now this is a forever challenge. Why? Because we're going to always and forever use washi tape. So I will be updating the participants list as you participate. So to get started, I am using some washi tape that has phrases on it. Now you can keep this simple and use the same washi tape or you could mix it up a bit and add different washi tapes, different colors, different patterns. Take your washi tape and fold it back like so. Now you can leave borders in between each strip of washi tape. If you plan on making washi ribbon, you want to do that because you will be cutting your ribbon down the border. But it's all up to you. It depends on what design you're going for. So there, I'm applying a different strip of washi tape. And I like to leave my washi tape open just so I could have easy access the next time. Now this washi tape is from Hobby Lobby. I've never used washi tape that had a liner before. Thought that was interesting. Nonetheless, it works just fine. And I am loving my designs so far. You could really have fun and get creative and make all manner of different designs. So I'm doing a repeat design of all three washi tapes. And I'm almost done. I'm down to my last couple of strips. Applying the cross once again in my most favorite symbol in the entire world. And um, I'll use a thinner strip towards the end because I know it will fit. The great thing about using washi tape, it's forgiving. So if you make a mistake, you could lift it up and reapply. You see a wrinkle there. So now I'm going to fold back all of my edges. Here's my proof. I love how this turned out. This is so pretty. Imagine making a project using this one of a kind. No one in the world has this one of a kind pattern paper. I just absolutely love it. The pop of the gold crosses along with the black and white words and phrases. It's beautiful. Okay, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to make a copy of this to see how well it transfers onto white cardstock. And that will determine if I decide to make washi fabric and washi ribbon. Okay, so let me show you my copies from this print here. Now I forgot that my gold didn't copy well. So let me show you. This is the print I got. It looks more brown this time. So I decided to make another copy and just do a black and white copy. And I got this color. Not sure if the camera picks it up, but this looks like that grayish brown color. So because I like the prints, I'm going to try my hand at making washi ribbon just to see how it turns out because I do like the phrases here. Once again, keep in mind that the type of printer that you use will yield different results. So 
For my printer, these darker colors, I need to play around with the color settings. The things you're going to need, you're going to need fabric. I'm not sure what type this is, but it's a type of cotton. You're going to need some spray adhesive, a good pair of scissors, and parchment paper. Now you can use freezer paper, and if you use freezer paper, I don't think you need the spray adhesive, but you would need an iron. So I'm using a piece of paper, and I'm using paper tray ink for all of my um, washi papers and even for copying. So you use the paper as a template to cut down your parchment paper and your fabric. And you do wanna cut the paper and the fabric slightly larger than the paper because you'll do your final cuts at the end. So you see here, I'm trimming down my fabric and then I'm just gonna line it up. I think a corner of my fabric is a little smaller than my paper, but I'm still gonna use it. And you see my frayed edge towards the end? Well, I wanted to keep that, fray, that frayed edge. So here, you see my parchment paper is larger than my paper, which is okay. And you see how it curls up? So you might wanna use the other side if that's easier. And I'm just measuring out my fabric with my parchment paper. And then here I'm gonna take a box and I'm gonna lay down my fabric and I'm gonna give a good coating of spray adhesive to my fabric. Now you wanna spray enough adhesive because you really want to bind your fabric and your parchment paper together because if you don't, you're, you might get a jam in your printer. So now I'm just gonna lay my parchment paper right on top of my fabric. And you see why I wanted my paper to be bigger than my fabric. So it could be easier to lay and bind the two together. And I'm gonna smooth out any wrinkles. I can tell I have a really good bind there. And then I'm gonna do my final cuts using my paper trimmer. I'm gonna first cut off the excess parchment paper on all sides and then I'll determine because I you see that frayed edge on the bottom I want to keep that so I don't want to cut off much from that end I just like that shabby look that it gives so I'll cut off Time more on that edge out there our fabric washi now keep in mind every printer is different so you want to follow your printer settings for printing out fabric. For my printer, I know I have to have my fabric face down and I like to insert in the side that has the smooth edge. This side has some feathering going on. I wanted to keep that so I'm going to insert in this side in my printer and I'll come back to show you the final fabric ready washi. for the finale. <laughs> ah! Okay, before I show you my washi fabric, let me show you what I did with my less than preferred copies. Okay, so this is just an example. The cross that I showed you guys, I didn't like how um, the copy came out. Well, I added some spray mist, and then I began to add this washi tape. Now, I know that it doesn't match, but the point is you can salvage your um, less than ideal copies that yield from your proofs, and you can, you can spruce it up and perhaps figure out a way to use it. Okay, so this is another example. Here what I've done, I, I took ink and I sponged ink on the paper and I like how this one turned out. And for this one, do you see the glisten in it? I added more um, spray mist there. So these are just tips on what you can do to salvage your copies that don't, don't come out All looking right, you guys. Too good. So take a look at my washi fabric. Now I have to say, I am pleased with how this turned out. If you can't see, it came out brown. So for some reason, it yielded better colors on fabric than it did my paper. So I'm so happy I took the chance at that because brown is my favorite color. Now I still have the parchment paper backed to the fabric. It comes off quite easy and you could reuse this parchment paper too. So just peel it back. Now you may notice that there's a slight tack to your fabric. It does go away, but you could take powder and detack that. So that's what I'm gonna do here because we are about to make 
ribbon, right? But isn't this so cool to have washi fabric? Because now you could take this fabric and make whatever you want to make with this. Oh my goodness, how about a little pillow? How about a teddy bear using your very own washi tape, right? This is so cool. Okay, so let's make some washi ribbon. To make washi ribbon, it's really easy. You could use scissors or you can do like I do and use a trimmer. I'm gonna look for a border to slice. And the fabric, well, you may have to cut it several times to get a clean um, separation. So just try to find a border. Be careful not to slice off any of your design. You could see I left two designs together there. It's really easy and, and I'm at a bad angle too. So it may look more complicated than what it really is. But there I'm trying to make sure I don't slice off any of my cross. Really simple, it's really fast. And, all right, you guys, and are you ready easy. for the grand finale? Are you ready for what started all of this? <laughs> Take a look at my do-it-yourself customized washi fabric. Gorgeous. Take a look at that. Love, faith, dream, smile, create. And this one states grateful. I am loved. I am forgiven. I am grateful. Some strips, I left two strips of washi together. More of this one here. I love this. I'm excited about this. I will never be without ribbon now. So, this is great too because if you have that washi tape and you can't find <laughs> any more of that particular type, well now if you make washi paper, you can make washi fabric and you can make washi ribbon and then you always have it. All right, you guys, let me show you some other washi ribbon that I made from this Sweet Treats washi paper. Take a look at this and these came out really nice. Look at the ice pops there. Look at all those sweet treats. Here are some cupcakes. More of those. And I do like how I like these colors. They're a bit muted, but they came out nice. Now, if I wanted to, I could make my strips of ribbon longer by taking two and fusing them together using fabric glue. Well, there's different types of things you can use to fuse it. You could even use a staple. There you have it, you guys. Your very own do-it-yourself washi paper, washi fabric, and washi ribbon. If you like this video, feel free to like it. Also, feel free to share this tutorial. And I hope you all participate in the challenge. I will. Well, as always, thank you for watching and blessings.